Hello everyone and welcome to Cornwall and uh, this is real world weather at the moment we're going to go for a bit of a tour around some of my favourite places in this area I haven't been for many years now so I thought we could uh, revisit it in the sim we're using the Quest 2 because I haven't shown this on the channel for a while so I thought it's about time I uh, did a video I do use this headset quite a lot uh, in VR uh, for, for sort of flight sims and I'm actually using the uh, the Quest 2's inbuilt microphone, which I think is actually pretty damn good. But let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, we're in the Cirrus, and we're going to start this up. Shouldn't take a moment here. The weather is terrible, by the way. As you can see, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, a mixture of sort of cold, sort of sleety showers mixed in with some sunshine. But uh, we can navigate our way, our way around it, hopefully okay. So we'll. We'll see how we go. So, battery is on, alternators are on. We need to make sure we're on the desired tank, which we are. Mixture fully rich, throttle cracked, the usual stuff. And we're going to go for an engine start. There we go. And we'll put our avionics on. Now, first port of call, actually, we're at Bodmin. So, we're going to have a little uh, fly over Bodmin more. Very pretty area, very nice. And then from there, we're going to check out the Eden Project, which is a point of interest in this sim, which uh, I haven't seen yet. I must say, though, that's probably the only place I haven't been in Cornwall in real life. <laughs> but I'm going to show you some of the beautiful beaches down here. And the, just Cornwall's got all of it, really, apart from the weather today. But usually it's very nice and warm down here. You've got incredible crystal clear water and beaches that stretch for miles. Uh, you've got those incredible cliffs and of course just the general sort of relaxed feeling about Cornwall. I, just, I would quite easily live down there. I love it. But anyway, with that being said, I think we should get going. So, uh, parking brake has now been released. This is going to be a challenging one, this one actually. Especially because I haven't connected my rudder pedals. I'll see you in a second. What a noob. Okay, welcome back. Rudder pedals have now been connected. <laughs> and uh, we're going to find a runway. And uh, yeah, this, this is all about just enjoying the sim. We're not going to talk much about settings or anything like that for today. I'm using the uh, 457-30 driver from NVIDIA. And I'm using the version 2.7 beta for the Quest 2 Link. Settings are exactly the same as they are in the reverb as well. I've just left everything the same. I couldn't be asked to change it, to be honest. I thought about trying everything on Ultra, but uh, we'll save that for another video. Oh, look at this. So we are airborne, and this weather is going to, uh, even though it's going to be challenging, it's going to really make everything even more dramatic and beautiful. Look at that. Oh, God, you know... <laughs> If there's one thing I love about this sim the most, if I had to pinpoint it to one thing, it would definitely be the weather engine. It's in a league of its own. I have no idea. I just don't know how any other sim is going to be able to compete with this, including, say, X-Plane 12, which, you know, they are looking into uh, updating their weather engine, which <laughs> they really need to do desperately. Look at this. Just showers everywhere. Some of them is... Uh, you know, you can tell that it's quite cold, uh, sleety showers because of the sort of white going down there. Some of it's darker grey. What a beautiful scene here. And by the way, I did say I'm not going to talk too technically, but I'll say the odd thing as we go along. I am actually, uh, I've got my motion projection completely off. Uh, I find, for whatever reason, the Oculus software seems to cope with it better than the reverb. So, uh, yeah. Everything's native resolution, but I'm in 80 hertz mode, although it doesn't really matter. It's currently locked at 72 hertz due to the, uh, the issues with the latest beta. But I don't find it much of a problem, to be honest. Anyway, that's enough technical crap for now. Let's just uh, <laughs> find our course. There we go. We'll go this way. I've got a lot of exciting things coming on the channel actually guys, uh, including some Reverb G2 Sweet Spot mods, 
so if any of you are struggling with the sweet spot of the, weaver, uh, the reverb, which I know a lot of you are, stay tuned for that. It's not usually like this in Cornwall, actually, so it's typical. I did this flight, this exact same flight yesterday, and it was beautiful, clear blue skies, but uh, never mind. I always, pretty much 99% of the time, fly with uh, real world weather. Because you get things like this, every flight's going to be different. It's incredible, so beautiful. So, what I'll do is I'll uh, check back in with you at our first point of call, which will be the Eden Project. I'll see you there in a moment, which won't take long in this plane, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Welcome back. We are now right over the Eden Project, as you can see here, brought to you by Gaia Simulations. I think they've done a fantastic job of all the points of interest in the UK and beyond. Look at that. It's funny, I've never been there, but maybe one day. Whenever I go down to Cornwall, I'm more sort of interested in the, uh, the beaches and the beautiful scenery. But I must admit, that's, some, that's a place I really need to check out. That's not bad, is it? And the dogs are woofing. <laughs> that must mean we've got a parcel. I've got a feeling I know what that is as well. It's exactly what I've just been talking about. I'm uh, expecting some modifications, some uh, comfort mods to the Reverb G2, including things that uh, make the sweet spot a lot easier to cope with. So I'm looking forward to showing on the channel. Sorry about the dogs. They are mental, and the moment we've got four in the house. But yeah, that's the Eden Project. So there is the coast looking absolutely beautiful. Look at the way the water is just glinting off there. I absolutely love this place so much. Now what we're going to do is make our way to Perrinporth next, which is actually near a place I've been to many times called Orchard Village, and we'll do a bit of a, a tour around that area, because it's gorgeous. This weather is looking very challenging indeed but it does paint such a beautiful picture, you've got to admit. There really is something about Cornwall, the way the rolling hills and just, you know, the landscape and the colour and just the fact that you're so close to the sea on both sides. It's just a beautiful place to live, it really is. I've got to say, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, it looks fantastic. Oh, look at this, we've got a couple of rainbows appearing here. Just uh, on the outskirts of Truro at the moment. Now, on this coast here, you've got Tintagel Head, so you've got Perrinporth, and on the uh, sort of southern coast, you've got uh, St. Michael's Mount. Very, very beautiful areas. Oh, look at this, this is insane. It's funny, if you'd have told me about five years ago that we'd have procedurally generated rainbows, uh, depending upon the atmospheric conditions that just generate, as in real life, I would laugh and go, ha, yeah, right, that's about 10 years away, or if not more. <laughs> and now we just take it for granted. Well, I know I don't, I absolutely love it every time. Just the fact that you can traverse all of these showers just like you would in real life. And we are really low to the deck here and you can see the ortho is looking absolutely crisp. Quest 2 performing very well. I must say, you know, I do love the Revo G2, it's my favourite headset, but the sweet spot is definitely better in the Quest 2, there's no doubt about it. Which uh, I know is a big deal for all of you guys.
Okay, this is where things get very scenic as we uh, sort of uh, fly right over these cliffs here, past Perrinporth and onwards to Newquay. We're going to do a bit of a touch and go at one of the airfields near here. Perrinporth just about there, and we're going to, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do a touch and go here actually. Porth Towen Airfield. Probably pronounced that incorrectly. And it's absolutely stunning, guys, honestly. This is what flying's all about for me in this sim in VR. It's just so incredible. To th the fact that we've got this out of the box as well. Look at that rain shower there, just coming in off the coast. Stunning. I think that's where we're going actually for our touch and go, just here. So we'll just uh, slow things down a bit because this is a really fast bird, the SR22. It's a really nice aircraft actually, one of my most favourite of the default birds. And we're going to do a touch and go there, I think. But just look at some of these cliff lines here. The only thing that is a bit annoying is they're kind of like changing shape as we're getting closer. Sort of lod radius. That might be my settings that are causing that, I'm not sure. But uh, see how they're kind of like adjusting the details we're getting right next to them. That could be the streaming actually as well. Okay, oh look at this, straight into a shower. It's kind of annoying because I wanted to show you this cove here. I think this is, is this St. Ives? Ortho is just so spectacular. Okay, we may have overshot this a little bit here. Oh my goodness me, we're too high. Do a bit of side slipping. Just going to do a touch and go. There we go. Oh. And we're down. It's very windy. And back up again. Nice. This really is just how I remember it with the sort of even the colour of the sea spot on. And how you can like there's loads of walk you know, coastal walks you can see there look. And that's right there on the cliff side, and you can look right down. That's, oh God, in VR, you really feel that sense of height. Absolutely stunning. That is epic. Absolutely epic views. Hopefully this is coming across fairly smooth. But as you know, VR recording is incredibly challenging at the best of times. So I believe New Key must be quite close by now. Just love seeing the, uh, the waves there crashing on the, sh on the shoreline. that wows it. Quest 2 performing very well here. It is funny, you know, I've, I've used the Reverb G2 so much recently and it's not until you go back to the Quest 2 you realise that the sweet spot is definitely better in this headset. I don't have to shuffle it around as much. Which is a shame really. Now Land's End in real life is a bit of a disappointment for me personally because it's like amusements and arcades and shops. All the things you don't want when you go somewhere like this. <laughs> 
I mean, even if you go like in Wales, the top of Snowdon, which is the highest mountain in Wales, there's a cafe there. I just think that's wrong. It should be completely wild. And that's kind of depicted in the procedurally generated autogen, kind of, or they're more like office flats or office blocks. But that's the car park there. No light house, which is a shame. And Land's End, or airport that is, should be around here somewhere. Right, so we're now on base and turning finals at St. Just. It's looking very nicely modelled even from here. I have to say, you know, that the, uh, the resolution in the Quest 2 is fantastic, but the Reverb G2 is so much better. I think some of that is probably down to decoding and the link cable. But it's still far better than the Rift S, that's for sure which I've sold now, by the way, guys, if you don't know. Right, here we go. Bit of a side wind here. Correcting with the rudder pedals, and we are down. Whee! That was close. <laughs> Bit lively there. The wind just caught the uh, left wing, and I wasn't prepared for it. Right, we'll just... Uh... I'm not sure, is this a taxiway? I've no idea. Looks like one. Or is it a grass runway? Well, we'll use this to get to the uh, sort of main area. And this is actually very nicely detailed. Look at this. They've done a fantastic job here. All these free airports we're getting in updates, it's quite remarkable. Wow, this is nice. Very nicely modeled. That completes our little uh, sort of UK tour series. Is that the toilets there? No, <laughs> just wondering, checking around the area. I do think we need a little car. If anyone knows uh, of a sort of freeware car out there, or even payware, if, <laughs> if there is such thing, please let me know in the comments, because I'd love to just drive around some of these airports. Right, I think we'll just park here, out of the way. But yeah, that does complete our little UK tour series for now. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.